how did that Nathan Peterman uh, start go, Steve? How'd that go yesterday? I think Aquaman jinxed him because um, <laughs> Aquaman said that he needed to be a superhero, and I think maybe Nathan was pressing a little bit early, but I felt really sorry for the kid. Me you too. Know? Me too. Me too, you know, especially and, and since I... For everybody, it was just a tough situation for the coach who made that decision, for Tyrod Taylor, who's sitting over on the bench going, you know what, this was my team, and I got him in a good position here, and this is my replacement. He's obviously not ready, and I got to go back in and try to, you know, patch this thing, stop the bleeding, and and now where do you go? I don't know. What a mess, and I hope oh. Nathan Peter, he's a good he's a good young player, Rich, I'm telling you. To, when when he when they gave him the reins, I said, you know what? This might be the next Kurt Cousins kind of story where you get picked later, but you end up starting for somebody. And then, but then all of a sudden, all these things happen. Five picks in a row. It's like this kid is shell shocked. Well, right I mean, now. it's now a Tom Tupa story, quite frankly, Steve. And you know, I, I did hear in a couple of spots, including on national television last night, hearing that you know the Bills realized that that Peterman's not a franchise quarterback which I thought was you know somewhat unfair to just say after half a half a start I mean so this one thing though I I do believe is that if if McDermott doesn't go back to Tyrod Taylor he's going to have a locker room revolt I mean you're you're 5 and 5 you're right there on the cusp of the playoffs Tyrod Taylor is clearly the better quarterback in 2017 yeah. I mean, how does McDermott – and he comes out uh, after the game and says, I need to evaluate. I mean, what's there to evaluate well, for 2017? Okay, they've evaluated already. What time is it on the East Coast? Okay, they've all watched the film and graded the film. And I'm I'm, if, I'm not a betting man, but if I were, I would say they're going to go back to Tyrod Taylor yeah, today. A, yeah, and, because, and say, hey, tried to do this. Uh, I thought we had something here. He's not ready yet. We're going to go back to Tyrod. Nathan's a good guy, and he needs more practice time and more sitting around watching, and we're going to get back into the playoff race with Tyrod Taylor. Yeah. It's he, that simple. Not easy, but it's but they got to do that. And what's what's Mike McCarthy sitting around right now thinking about? He's going, I wish I had Brett Favre or Aaron Rodgers playing quarterback for me. You know, that's how often do we talk about this? There aren't enough franchise quarterbacks in the league. There aren't enough walking this earth. There's 7.3 billion people, and there aren't 32 franchise quarterbacks. So you're either trying to draft one or develop one or pray that you get one or whatever that is. And, and, and Hundley was, was playing okay the last two games, but then, boom, you know, he played against a good defense and, and three turnovers, and, and they get shut out at, shut out at home. That doesn't happen in Lambeau very often. And uh, Green Bay right now is in is like in the tank. I've been there after losses, and the whole city just is depressed. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.